Hey guys. I uh, I found this little game hanging out in my GOG library and I had a look at it. I don't remember really buying it. And it looks very interesting. Seems to be a game that follows a very similar story to uh, the classical tale of Orpheus, who descends into hell itself to retrieve his girlfriend. From what I've read on uh, the store page, it seems like this game should be taken with a certain amount of gravitas, so I will try to do that. Let's go. Daddy. Okay, here we go. Immediately into it. What's up, kid? You're sleepwalking again. Oh, sorry, sweetie. Hey, do you smell smoke? Let's go investigate. Uh, you're a bit too cheerful about that, but... You can be Sherlock. Oh, this is cute. It's a guy in his... Daughter, all alone. You're silly. Okay then. This looks quite neat. Has a very stylistic approach. Look at that. Very fluid. A sort of a vague resemblance to a Tim Burton style of cartoonish, but also creepy lanky depiction of people. It's a mirror, Sherlock. Hmm. It's so dusty, I can barely see your face. Spooky. <laughs> look at us, Dad. We look like funny ghosts. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna come back to bite us in the ass, right? Oh, this is adorable. Boob. No, not boob, sweetie. I'm still not entirely too sure if this is supposed to be primarily a platformer or an adventure game. I can tell I have a health bar in the top, but... Hmm. The sound is very strange. Like that jumps he makes. I hope that doesn't come across as too pounding for you, but that really pounds in my ears. What is that? Poor Georgie. Oh, that's a puppy. He's all stuffed in his crate. Um, can we perhaps get him out? Because he does you look a bit sad. Smell the crisp crumbs in your jacket. Hmm. Maybe. I don't think it's very nice to torment him like that. Oh, come on. Are you gonna, like, riddle me with guilt from the start of the game? Oh, Jesus. Okay, puppy might not be so nice. Georgie likes lion's heart crisps from Martin's Grocery. The beefy kind. Sure. 
but why is he so evil? And if you haven't got any for him, then you should probably get back on task, mister. Sure thing, sweetie. I... I seem to keep hearing noises that I get notes, but... I don't think I have a notebook or a journal. Not that I know of. Hmm. Oops. Sorry about that. Oop. What's that, Daddy? I'm not too sure. It looks like a frozen drop of... Licorice. Oil? Oh. And it seems I'm gonna have to find more. What did that do? Oh, that opened up the door, I see. It's a bit sad about the dog. I was hoping I could release him, but apparently not. And I can destroy stuff. Awesome. You know, for being a dad and being apparently a minister, this guy seems to have a very, very young sounding voice. And there's letters on the background. She's... She's what? Hmm. Why is all your stuff thrown out that door, Daddy? Hmm. I don't know, kid. And is that... What? Is that Mummy's locket? Wait, I, I can press... Hmm. Oh, I see. So this is my inventory, but what do I do with the West key? Oh, I see. Look at that. I can turn stuff around. That is cool. Very cute. Very nice art, too. I'm trying to direct this back to... Okay, so there's a cross on the backside. And, oop, oop, there we go. Oh, mommy is adorable. Look at her. But Dad doesn't look too happy. I'm not too sure why. He looks a bit downtrodden. Weird. It seems like there's a whole bunch of collectibles that I'm gonna have to find. Okay, so what does the one button do? There's like a one in the bottom corner. Strange portrait of a man, and his name seems to be... Well, I... Oh, I can save here. That's a save game. I see. Why? Hmm. How do I access my inventory again? Oh, there we go. That makes sense. You press the I button, obviously. I guess it's a mystery what happened to the mom and why he wasn't too happy even when the mom was around. I kind of want to close this for obvious reasons. I want to close this so I know what's what's supposed to be spelled out. She's something. Oh, she's mine. Oh. Oh. Well, that can be good. Hmm. Okay, so... Sherlock. Did I do it? What's up, Watson? I think I can reach that button. Oh, right. Right. So we press it together. Come on, buddy. There we go. Good kid. Good kid. She's actually smarter than me. Holy shit. I didn't even realize that that was going to be the thing that was going to happen. I'm not on a train. Wait, is this supposed to be a train? I don't think trains are supposed to have wheels like that. 
that aren't even connected to anything, but still. Come on, kid. Let's go. What was that? I missed that. I was just grabbing for my glass. What did I miss? I'm gonna have to start paying closer attention. How did this get here? Oh, it's a notebook. Don't look at it, Daddy. Why not? Come on. It's just a silly drawing. There's nothing better than a kid's creative imagination. Come on. Oh, failure. Babe, I, I really hope the kid didn't do that because goddamn. I'm trying to hold on, get kid. I hold on. I I have a bit of issues, and um, I'm rotationally. Um, yeah, there we go. So it's a picture of us with the dog, and mommy seems to be floating like a fairy in the sky. I'm assuming that's mommy. And there's a very very bitter angry face in the floor. I get the feeling that I'm gonna have to pick up on details in this game. What's What does the letter say? Uh, the letter seems to say slag. Is that... Is that an anagram? Le... Le... Gale... Gale's... Sage... Lay... Gales. If that's an anagram, I don't immediately see it. In any case, we continue. I'm assuming... I'm gonna grab all these in order. Yeah, I'm gonna try to find it all. Right. Wait, what was that? Oh, I turned the things around. I see. Hmm. Wait. Are they timed or do I just look like jumping jump jump jumpy jumpy whoop whoop whoop? Kid, yeah, I got that. I was just about to jump. With a toot toot toot. I was just about to jump when you did that. That's why I accidentally skipped the thing. I really like that show. It's such a silly show. I'm not gonna say okay to my kid. Come on. I didn't know you liked that show, Sherlock. Sure thing, babe. I thought you just liked to do your smoke and investigate homicide. <laughs> I guess these two must have watched Sherlock together. But in any case, let's try this again. So we press the thing. One, two, three, and we jump. There we go. It's probably not a... Ooh, what was that? It's probably not a great idea to have your skip dialogue button be the same as your jump button. Or... Oh no, it's, it's space. It's not even the same button. I'm talking out of my ass. Oh. Hey, buddy. Are you okay? You don't look okay. Good morning, dear. Oh my god. Are you just the creepiest bastard around? And who might this be? Um Hello there, Bo. This is gonna go south really fast, isn't it? I didn't think this was a horror game, but maybe it is. Do you like balloons? Oh Jesus Christ, buddy. How about a shiny black one? You're just a friendly man. Yeah, you sound like it. You know, 
if I were you, I I just add in a little bit more wheezing and and like heavy breathing to really drive home the point how friendly you are. Jesus, something's gonna happen. Something bad is gonna happen. Keep a good eye on your daughter, buddy. I think this guy might be a rapist. Oh, and bell. Um. I like your dress. Jesus. Yeah, let's just be direct. Fuck you. Oh, that's not very nice. Okay, maybe it wasn't. I mean. Oh. Okay, yeah, that was a bad idea. I get it. It's a very typical creepy guy says nice things scenario where, you know, you can easily dominate a conversation by realizing that he's being a total creep, but by not actually saying creepy stuff. Like on the surface. It's very, very like manipulative, but it's effective. Okay, things are starting to turn. Yeah. There is something very off about this. It's a sack. Great. I thought it was a balloon. Looks like a giant old sack. <laughs> it makes me dizzy. Uh oh. Oh, kid, no. Oh, shit. I don't really want to keep pressing the sack, to be honest. I don't like pressing sacks in the first place. I'm not too sure why I did that. What happens if I keep doing it? I think you should stop sniffing that thing. It looks like it's bad for you. Okay. Right. I'm starting to smell like... The instigation of metaphors here. Like, there's gonna be a deeper story, and this is all gonna be metaphorically presented, but I can't quite piece it together just yet. Which I'm assuming is normal since I just started. Kid, don't! Jesus! Oh fuck, here we go. Oh shit. Feels like <laughs> madness returns all over again. <laughs> oh balls! Oh shit! Okay, let's just save my game and let's go. Pooch, pooch, come here! Can I not grab the balloon? No, I can't. Come on. <laughs> my, my, my. Dude, give me back my kid. Your little girl is a feisty one. How can you say that? Of like a teeny tiny girl. But don't worry, Ted. She'll soon call me father. Oh, this is not gonna be a happy fun time story. <laughs> <laughs> 